Forget those processed popsicles at the store that are full of artificial flavors, colors, and sugar. You can make your own sugar-free popsicles at home with just three ingredients and five minute prep. These are sweet, tart, fruity, totally delicious, and actually have nutrients, unlike those store-bought ones. And they're so refreshing on a hot day. Hi everyone, it's Maya from wholesomeyum.com and I make easy, healthy recipes with 10 ingredients or less. So today I'm showing you how to make sugar-free popsicles with just three ingredients, plus water, and very little effort. Now, I'm calling these sugar-free popsicles because there's no added sugar, but technically there's a little bit of natural sugar from the fruit. They only have 41 calories though and six grams net carbs, so I'd consider that pretty great. Let's do this. This recipe makes six sugar-free popsicles, but today I'm going to make two different flavors, so I'm going to cut the recipe in half and make three of each. So for the entire batch, you are going to need a quarter cup of lemon juice, or for half the batch, half the recipe, you'll need two tablespoons. So usually a lemon is about two tablespoons, but sometimes if they're super juicy, sometimes you get more out of one. So we'll see how this goes. And you can use bottled lemon juice here for convenience, but I think fresh just tastes best. And just add that to a blender. One more tablespoon. The lemon juice keeps the popsicles fresh, preserves their color, and brings out the sweetness of the berries we're going to be adding. I'm making some red popsicles today and some blue ones. So for the red ones, I'm going to be using a mix of strawberries and raspberries. For the entire recipe, six popsicles, you will need three cups of berries, but since I'm doing half and half, we will do one and a half cups. So I'm doing one cup of strawberries and half a cup of raspberries. Just remove the leaves from the strawberries first and place those in the blender. And the half a cup of raspberries goes in as well. And you can do this with any fruit you like, it's the same ratio, but berries are the lowest in sugar. You can even use frozen fruit, just defrost in the microwave for about 30 seconds to help them blend more easily. I'll add three tablespoons of water. The entire recipe is a third of a cup, but so half of that would technically be two tablespoons and two teaspoons. I rounded this up to three tablespoons, much easier to measure. So these popsicles are already going to be pretty sweet from the fruit, but usually that's not quite enough. So I use Bestie Powdered Sweetener to make this a bit sweeter. And for the entire recipe, you need a third of a cup, but just like the water, I'm gonna round this up to three tablespoons for half the batch. Go ahead and add that in. This is my favorite sweetener to use for applications like this, where it's important for it to have a smooth texture. You can see this is super fine and this dissolves really easily. A lot of sweeteners turn out kind of gritty and you don't want that in your popsicles. If you don't mind the popsicles not being sweet, you can omit the sweetener altogether, but I really like adding this in. And this does have zero sugar and zero nut carbs, so you can easily adjust to your taste after you blend this and see if you need more. It won't really affect the nutrition at all. Now we just blend this all together. Usually takes about 30 seconds or so in a blender like this. Sometimes it takes longer if yours is less powerful. Now just go ahead and pour this into popsicle molds. I've been loving these stainless molds. I got these recently and I have really enjoyed them. I find that they don't stick as easily as plastic ones and they're easy to clean. Leave just a little bit of room in there for the popsicle stick. Otherwise, if you fill them super full, once you add the popsicle sticks, they'll overflow. So now we'll repeat the same process for the blueberry ones. Again, this is half the recipe. I'm doing one and a half cups of blueberries, two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, or you can use bottled for convenience, three tablespoons of water, three tablespoons of powdered Bestie, and go ahead and blend it all together until smooth. Pour it into the remaining three popsicle molds. Now I'll just add the popsicle sticks and these are ready to freeze. So my molds come with the little lids and this little silicone piece, which is nice because it holds the popsicle stick in place. So you just stick that through there and then pop that into place. Obviously you can make these with other molds as well, but I've been really liking these. Now all you have to do is freeze these for at least six hours or overnight until they're nice and firm. And when you're ready to eat them, just run them under warm water and they'll pop right out of the molds. So I'm going to show you what these look like and I'm gonna to try to work quickly because these are popsicles and they are going to melt, which is why I have a tray of ice here in front of me. But let's be honest, this is going to melt too. So here we go. Look how bright and colorful these are. I'm gonna arrange some fresh berries around them just because this looks nice. There's no reason for it, okay? Let's face it, you're gonna be eating these immediately and not arranging them like I am. But here's a little preview into what some of my photo shoots look like. I wanted to make this look nice to get, show you some video footage of the popsicles before they all melt. Some fresh mint makes some nice garnish for these, but if you like, you can actually add it directly to the blender too. I guess I better try one of these before they all melt, but my kids did make me promise that they would be part of the sugar-free popsicle video today, so gotta give them that chance. Bella, Gabby, come here. You want a popsicle? Yeah. All right, which one do you want? This one is blueberry and this one is strawberry raspberry. 
You gotta be quite quickly, they're gonna melt. Mm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Approved? I want to try the other one. <laughs> Sweet, fruity, refreshing. We're gonna be making these all summer long. And if you have more strawberries to use up, make this easy 10 minute strawberry spinach salad.